square root of 1 minus x whole square in the first term in the expression for y can take two values. If x is less than 1, then square root of 1 minus x whole square is equal to 1 minus x. And if x is greater than 1, then square root of 1 minus x whole square is equal to x minus 1. Therefore, y can take two values depending on whether x is less than 1 or greater than 1. y is equal to 5 upon 3 times 1 minus x plus cos square 2x plus 1 if x is less than 1. And y is equal to 5 upon 3 times x minus 1 plus cos square 2x plus 1 if x is greater than 1. Therefore, the derivative of y with respect to x in the first case is equal to minus 5 upon 3 times 1 minus x whole square times minus 1 plus 2 times cos of 2x plus 1 times minus sine of 2x plus 1 times 2. In the second case, when x is greater than 1, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus 5 upon 3 times x minus 1 square plus 2 times cos of 2x plus 1 times minus sine of 2x plus 1 times 2. This is equal to 5 upon 3 times 1 minus x whole square minus 2 times sine 2x plus 1 times cos 2x plus 1 times 2 if x is less than 1 and is equal to minus 5 upon 3 times x minus 1 square minus 2 times sine of 2x plus 1 times cos of 2x plus 1 times 2 if x is greater than 1. Now 2 times sine of 2x plus 1 times cos of 2x plus 1 is equal to sine of 2 times 2x plus 1 or sine of 4x plus 2. Using this result, dy upon dx is equal to 5 upon 3 times 1 minus x whole square minus 2 times sine of 4x plus 2 if x is less than 1 and is equal to minus 5 upon 3 times x minus 1 square minus 2 times sine of 4x plus 2 if x is greater than 1. And this is the required answer.